Wait, why are my lashes sticking to my eyeballs like that? Mm -mm. Look ashy. I just ignore whatever's left on my face and moisturize my face real quick because I am ashy. I'm using my favorite face moisturizer. This is the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. But hello, you guys. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing well. Hold on. Oh, my glasses are dirty too. Hi, you guys. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, my name is Ashley and I'm currently 20 four weeks and a day pregnant with my first baby, my little baby girl. I'm so excited. I just got out the shower and I ran out of my belly oil. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make my belly oil because my belly was very itchy today because I didn't have any more and I need to moisturize. So I'm gonna show you guys how I make it. It's an all natural oil. So yeah, that's what we're doing today. I've been using this just about every day since I found out I was pregnant. The only difference today is I'm gonna be adding one extra ingredient. I'm gonna see if I have any uh, vanilla flavoring oil so I can put a little bit of vanilla in there too so I can have a little fragrance for it. But yeah, oh, excuse me. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure you click the subscribe button on your post notifications so you guys can be notified every time i upload a new video if you guys want to see how i make my belly it will stay tuned for the next clip and i apologize in advance for the glare in my glasses so i'm making this oil for myself so as far as sanitary precautions mind your business before today i had my belly oil in like a, a old avocado oil bottle i just poured all the ingredients in there but i bought this bottle on amazon so i can put my oil in there it comes with a pump it came with two bottles, but I think I'm only gonna need one. And as far as the ingredients I have, um, are the oils that I'm gonna be mixing together. I have some fractionated coconut oil that I got from TKB Trading. If you guys are OGs, you guys know TKB Trading is where I used to get all of my lip gloss. Not all of it, but most of my lip gloss business supplies from. The fractionated coconut oil from TKB Trading. I got the avocado oil from TKB Trading as well. They have a lot more options as far as oils goes now. I got some jabobo oil, jabobo oil, however you say it. I got some of that. I already used some of this, but I guess I didn't use that much of it because it still looks pretty full. And then this looks suspect because it's my old flavoring oil from when I used to make lip gloss. And then I got this rose hip oil. I still have about half a bottle left of that. I have some vitamin E oil as well. All three of these I got from Amazon and I also have some lavender oil. This, I haven't been putting this in my original oil either. The lavender oil or the vanilla are two things that I'm just gonna be adding in, but all the other ingredients were already in my original. I'm out of breath. Something about being pregnant will really have you out of breath from doing nothing. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh, I don't have a funnel, so I'm literally just gonna pour the different oils in here, shake it up, and that's it. If you wanted to, you could do a double boiler on the stove if you wanted to, but since all of these oils are already liquefied, I don't need to do that. I'm just gonna be shaking it up and it's gonna be good to go. Oh, I wonder if I have my label maker. I'm gonna go check. I can't find my label maker. It ain't in here. No, I got my address on it. Be zooming in trying to find my address. But speaking of my address, if you guys wanna get me anything for my baby registry, I'm gonna link it down below for you guys. Yeah, I would greatly appreciate anything. I'm out of breath. I'm really out of breath. But I just got my first item for my baby registry. I got a stroller that makes me feel like it's official. It's really getting real. I literally have a stroller in my house. That's crazy. Wow. <laughs> Whenever the stroller came in the mail today, I got a little emotional because it was just like, wow, I really have a, sh <laughs> a stroller and a car seat. Like, <laughs> I'm having a baby, you guys. I'm super excited. Super excited about that. Yeah, we're about to make this belly oil. I guess I should put a piece of paper towel down. Yeah, I don't know where my label maker is. It's just one of those uh, letter tag label makers, but I don't know where it's at. I don't know if I'm measuring out. I'm not measuring it out. I'm just gonna pour it in there. So this, I've just been using this to basically moisturize my belly. This one I used most of it already. This is the coconut oil. I'm gonna just pour that in there. I thought I was gonna zoom in and just show y'all only what I'm doing, but you can see my face while I'm doing it too. It's been a minute, so. Hi, hello, how are you? <laughs> so that's the coconut oil. I should just pour all of it in there, honestly, and just, yeah, do that. Maybe I will, maybe I will do that because I don't wanna have to make any more anytime soon. Yeah, I'm gonna just pour whatever I have left in the jabobo oil, jabobo oil, whatever you call it. I don't know if I'm gonna use all of that. Maybe I should. Yeah, I'll link the website for um, TKB Trading down below. And then if you guys are interested, I could link these other oils too if you guys wanna make your own belly oil. I recommend making your own belly oil because it's so easy. And I'll link these bottles down below too. Um, I just like using the oil on my belly instead of like a lotion because it just, it rubs in so much easier. I put it all over my, my belly, my breast of course, and then I rub it into my arms and then my upper thigh area as well. And this week, oh my gosh, you guys, pregnancy update. On Christmas Eve, I had to go to the hospital because I was worried. So that was the, the avocado oil, the next one. This is the bubble oil. Do I wanna pour it on it? Yeah, I'm gonna just pour it all in there. Cause I could always 
order more oils when the time comes. Um, but yeah, I went to the hospital on Christmas Eve because I was in so much pain, like, and it was, I was starting to get worried because I was feeling a lot of pain in my lower um, abdomen, like my lower belly area and then my lower back, but it was like consistent. And then you know how whenever you Google anything about your health, it starts to stress you out <laughs> because then everything pops up. But I seen one thing, it was saying it could have been gas and it said if it's gas pain, it shouldn't last any more than two hours. So it said 20 to 30 minutes up to two hours. And I was like, okay, because the pain started Thursday night and Christmas Eve is Saturday morning so or Saturday so the pain started on Thursday night and I was like okay I try not to think too much into it but then all night it was hard for me to sleep like I got a total of maybe three hours of sleep on and off throughout the whole night because I was just in that much pain I just kept waking up tossing and turning trying to get comfortable and then all day on Friday I was off Friday so all day on Friday I was still in pain on and off all day I'm like okay this is way longer than two hours and then I was just like let me just try to thug it out so I was like rocking back and forth a lot I was up and down resting I tried doing yoga because I seen that yoga helps move gas around it helps with um, like body aches and pains during pregnancy so I tried doing that I'm like anything I can do different positions like just trying to help the pain go away nothing was working overnight from like Friday night up to Saturday morning I'm still in pain barely sleeping about three hours of sleep on and off and then okay I'm gonna do the rose hip oil next I'm gonna do this one but yeah on and off tossing and turning I don't know if I want to put all of this. I like this oil to use whenever I uh, shave my face or microderm my face, whatever you want to call it. So I'm not going to use all of that. I want to save some of that. And then this vitamin E, I'm going to save some of this too. I'm probably only going to put like half or I don't know. You just watch me because this one's a thicker one. So I don't want to put too much of that one either. That's enough. Ooh. And vitamin E oil, you guys, it's expensive. Y'all know that. This vitamin E oil specifically smells a little funny. But I will link my other, the other vitamin E oil that I originally used, which is this one. I'll link this one down below too. And I like this one better because it's clear. Um, This is the one I used to use when I made lip gloss as well. But yeah, so then Saturday morning, like I'm still in pain. And I woke up around like 4.30 and I'm just like, man, I don't know what to do. Like I'm in so much pain. I'm uncomfortable, I'm getting worried. I could barely feel the baby moving. So I kind of like nudged my man and I'm like, hey, what do you think I should do? Should I be worried? And that woke him up instantly. Um, so then he was like listening to my belly, he put his head on my belly and the baby like kicked a couple of times, but we were still kind of worried regardless. So then we decided to call the OBGYN and they recommended for me to go to the women's hospital emergency room. So that's what I ended up doing and everything's fine. <laughs> I should have said that at the beginning <laughs> instead of making it like I'm dragging this out. But obviously I'm fine because I'm here, I'm alive. I'm making some belly oil with you guys. But um, it turned out that baby was fine. I'm fine. They said it's just growing pains. They called it large ligament pains. And I'm like, what? You kidding me? I did have a growth spurt. Like my belly got a lot bigger out of nowhere. I'm gonna show you guys. Am I gonna show you guys? I think I'm gonna show you guys my belly. Give you guys a little a little bump reveal um, on video. So that's all it was. But when I left the hospital, I was still in pain. Christmas day, I was in pain. Christmas night, I was crying. Boohoo crying, I was angry. And in the midst of me crying, <laughs> Why did my man try to give me a piece of granola bar while I'm crying? Like, he was like, <laughs> I was so irritated. He was like, you want a bite? <laughs> I, I was just like, I'm punch you. <laughs> I was so irritated. The pain has subsided slightly. Like, it's more bearable. Like, I'm able to, like, get through my day a lot better. But the pain, it, it it's definitely in waves. But it's not as consistent. I did eventually cave in and I took one Tylenol. It didn't really help. It didn't do anything, actually. But yeah. Let's mix this up a little bit. Belly oil in the making. I really wish I had more of the um, the coconut oil, but that's okay. It's still gonna be just as good. I'm gonna put a little bit of the vanilla to give it some fragrance. A little bit of vanilla. I said a little bit, but you guys see how much I put. I put a decent amount. Then I'm gonna put a couple of drops of lavender. The first few drops, it didn't come out. So I'm trying to give it a, try not to make too much of a mess with it either. Let me shake that up and see. But yeah, that's my little pregnancy update. Maybe I'll still get some more fractionated coconut oil and just add it to this batch. But yeah, you, oh, that smells so good. That smells so good. I love that. That vanilla and um, lavender mixture. It mixes so well together. Wow, I love, oh, that's so good. That's Hopefully that helps me sleep better at night too because lavender is really good with helping you sleep. That's where the idea of getting the lavender and putting the lavender in here came from because lavender is good for calming the skin but it's also good for helping you calm down. Oh, that smells so good. That's therapeutic. 
Wow. I should make this and start selling it, huh? <laughs> Let me know. No, I'm just kidding. But maybe I should. That smells bomb. But yeah, I've been using belly oil consistently ever since I found that I'm pregnant. So far at 24 weeks, I don't have any new stretch marks on my belly, but I've accepted that if I'm going to get stretch marks, I'm going to get stretch marks, but I'm still massa massaging, <laughs> massaging my belly every day with oil twice a day in the morning and at night just to help as a preventative. But it also, it just, the main thing that it helps with is the itchiness because since my stomach is expanding and right now I'm having a little growth spurt, that's where these growing pains are coming from or round ligament pains are coming from. I need to make sure that I'm moisturizing consistently. So yeah, I'm gonna put my lid on this thing. I really wanted to use my label maker to put, labor maker to put mommy's belly oil on there, but that's okay. But um, yeah, that's my belly oil, you guys. I'm about to use some of this right now because when I say I'm ashy, I'm ashy. Oh, that's a nice pump. Oh, this, yep. That smells so good. I might put a little bit of extra lavender oil in there, but that smells, I love the mixture. No, that's enough. That's enough lavender for sure. Back this up so you guys can see my belly. A little belly. This is 24 weeks, you guys. 24 weeks. Okay, I'm about to moisturize my belly. Because y'all, when I tell y'all, my belly is itchy. My belly is itchy. A little bit more. Everybody keep telling me I look small, but I'm like, to me, I feel like I look big. So <laughs> yeah, you guys, that was my how I make my DIY belly oil, pregnancy belly oil. If you guys did like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. I'm out of breath again. All I did just now was oiled my belly and I'm out of breath. Yeah, that's pregnancy for you. <laughs> Subscribe. Turn on your post notifications so you guys know every time I upload a new video. Please do me a favor and comment down below any video suggestions you guys might have for me. I don't really know what type of videos I want to film right now. I know I do want to stay consistent posting videos and at least updating you guys. I'm going to have a doctor's appointment tomorrow, but tomorrow, tomorrow is just the glucose sugar test. And I really, I don't want to drink that fluid. I'm bothered. And I know I could decline it, but it's like, I don't know. Oh, this is so new. Some people say they get sick from drinking that fluid. Like, do I really want to drink that? Do I want to decline it? Do I want to be difficult? Like, I don't know. I don't know. It's a test to see if you have gestational diabetes. And in, in my mind, because of the way that I am, I'm just like, I wonder if that high sugar fluid triggers gestational diabetes, like makes you get it, you know? Maybe I'm crazy, but anyways, yeah. <laughs> if you guys like this video, don't forget to thumbs up. And again, if you guys want to give the baby anything, I'm going to link my registry down below. It's on baby list, but the baby list has my Amazon registry. Most of my stuff is on Amazon. I just did the baby list because someone recommended me to do it. And then I have Target on there, but Target I only have a couple of items on there. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you guys. I love you and I will see you in the next video. Bye, you guys.